Now, the lead designer of China's manned space project says the Shenzhou 7 mission is an important step in the development of the nation's space technology. Zhou Dianping says with the success of Shenzhou 7, China will be able to carry out long-term and sustainable manned space projects. Li Ying has more. China's inaugural manned spacecraft Shenzhou 5 was launched in 2003 with the country's first astronaut Yang Li Wei on board. Two years later, Shenzhou 6 was launched with two astronauts on board. Shenzhou 7 would carry three astronauts. The man who's behind each step in China's development in manned space missions says the increase in the number of astronauts marks a crucial breakthrough. The primary goal of the Shenzhou 7 mission is our breakthrough in extravehicular activities. With three astronauts aboard the Shenzhou 7 spaceship, we will be able to thoroughly test its full capacity performance for the first time. While the spaceship is traveling along the designated orbit, our astronauts will put on their spacesuits and conduct a spacewalk. This will be an indicator that China has mastered the core of manned space technology. With sound extravehicular technologies, astronauts will be able to play a more prominent role in space exploration. In addition to spacewalking, our astronauts will also carry out some scientific experiments. We have arranged experiments on solid lubricant materials and solar power battery materials. The sample materials will be deposited outside the cabin of the spaceship. Our astronauts will step out of the capsule, retrieve the sample, and take them back to Earth for further research. Chinese scientists also say the success of the Shenzhou 7 will be a new beginning in the development of China's manned space technology. The success of the missions from Shenzhou 1 to Shenzhou 6 proves China is able to send astronauts into space and take them back to the Earth. And for the Shenzhou 7 mission, Chinese astronauts will step out of the capsule and conduct a spacewalk. In the long run, we will try to achieve breakthroughs in the technology of spacecraft docking. With the docking technology, China will master the most important core technologies in manned space missions. As the next step, we will be able to research on the launch of a space laboratory. Chinese scientists also say the safety of the astronauts is their primary concern and the reliability of Shenzhou 7 is a pivotal part in the design. Leah, CCTV. Now speaking of the design, let's look at some of the safety measures in place. A shield called a fairing helps protect the satellite during a launch. For manned spacecraft, it's even more important since it helps the astronauts escape any possible accident. The most sophisticated techniques have been applied to the Long March 2F rocket. Will Black is here. The fairing of the Long March 2F rocket envelops the Shenzhou 7 module. During liftoff, outer pressure tightens the fairing. The fairing protects the spaceship from high temperature, vibration, and pressure. Once the Shenzhou 7 reaches the stability of the atmospheric layer, the fairing will automatically open and fall away. Unlike the fairing on satellites, this one is not only divided in left and right halves, but also in upper and lower halves. The upper part acts as an escaped craft. It connects the spacecraft's fairing and the escape engine. The escape craft does not take away the entire fairing. It carries away the two lower capsules of the spacecraft. So the lower part of the fairing is gone. It looks like a bell with an open bottom. The fairing on the Long March 2F rocket is different from the one used for satellites. It has four high-altitude escape engines. Four wings are attached to the fairing below the engines. 
If all goes well, they will remain in place. The function of the wings is to stabilize the escape craft. They boost lift. They are always closed during flight and only open for an emergency escape. When the escape tower is activated, the wings will unfold, helping the escape craft fly stably. The wings are like the tail of a kite. Without the wings, the escape craft will be unstable. The fairing also has an internal supporter that connects it to the return capsule. If something goes wrong during liftoff, the supporter will hold the return capsule as it jettisons to safety. There is a particular requirement for the supporter. It cannot be too fixed to the spaceship during normal flight. There should be some flexibility. The Long March 2F special features were designed to ensure it can put the Shenzhou 7 safely into space. It's now ready to fulfill its mission. Will Black, CCTV. And if you just joined us, you're watching the news live from Beijing. We're talking about the Shenzhou 7 space mission as it prepares to lift off. Now, the mission's launch rocket features a special safety design. Renting is more on the Long March rocket's escape tower. This part of the rocket is called the escape tower. It's on the very top of the launch rocket that will carry Shenzhou 7 spaceship into orbit. If something goes wrong during takeoff, the escape tower would lift the modules containing the astronauts away from the rocket, bringing the Shenzhou 7 crew to safety in the blink of an eye. This is the main engine for the escape tower. It has a propelling power of more than 80 to 100 tons, so that it's capable of pushing the spaceship away from the dangerous part of the launch rocket in only three or four seconds. For astronauts, three or four seconds can be the precious difference between life and death. It's long enough to take the crew module to a safe area two kilometers away. But even this safety system has its limits as it becomes ineffective when the altitude of the spacecraft exceeds 39 kilometers. Renting, CCTV.